All right. Hello, Kiran. Hello, Miguel. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alex. Hello, Norbert. Thanks a lot for joining today. Absolutely. It's going to be fun. I mean, we are in yeah. a good mood, aren't we, guys? <laughs> I no, 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 I'm, I'm totally sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're sad. Uh, like today's webinar will be a little bit shorter. It will be only around seven hours. Uh, last webinar was, was, I don't know, I believe 14 hours uh, in total. But this webinar will be a little bit shorter, around one hour. So stick around. And there are a lot of things we uh, want to discuss today. And uh, so the topic of today's webinar is uh, how to automate tedious customer support tasks using integrations now this topic sounds quite difficult and in fact it is, <laughs> is yeah, right? actually, actually it is uh it was quite hard to find even content for this so no uh it's it's interesting so customer support is really important you need to um you, know, you will see it later on in the slides um it's it's a very important thing and there are a lot of things you can automate to um to to, to make it more easy um and stressless for your agents uh, to do support if they don't need to copy paste on a daily basis so yeah so that's things. that's something we will be discussing today but yeah. there's a there is another thing we will be mentioning multiple times today and that's a that's a jacket giveaway guys yeah. you're wearing some yeah, some yeah. really cool swag today <laughs> so here, here is the jacket there is a lot of um yeah sing spider on it yeah so <laughs> uh and we are giving away one of those jackets we have them in l and xl they are small so um yeah you need to choose the right one one jacket is the giveaway today and it's for um liking our facebook page fb.com slash sing spider and you just need to comment under the video that you like the jacket and you like our page and everything is cool and we do a random draw tomorrow yeah yeah okay. yeah we can we can yeah. we can do it do it tomorrow so guys yeah you have only one day uh to uh to take a look have a it's chance really to win also. uh this jacket so these are basically two main topics of today's webinar first integrations and how to use it in uh, customer support and second Maybe more fun for some, for, for some people is winning that awesome jacket you are wearing right now. And to win it, it's actually quite simple. You need to uh, comment under this video. So guys, do it right now. Comment under this video if you want this jacket on Facebook. You can do it even uh, during the replay. So comment under this video and uh, make sure you will like the Sync Spider page on Facebook as well. All right, so I see people are already joining on Facebook here on Zoom as well. So everybody, hi again. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask us here on Zoom or on Facebook. We are monitoring it everywhere and we'll be answering same as the last time. Of course, replay will be available on the Facebook page and I'm slowly uploading everything on YouTube as well. So you can, uh, you can watch it on multiple platforms. So Norbert, Alex. Uh, jacket guys, I think we can jump right into the today's topic, which is automating tedious customer support tasks with integrations. Yeah, absolutely. So then let me share my screen. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the only one in jacket and, and I'm going to sweat. Yeah, then, then, then <laughs> put off your jacket, Alex. I know, it's going to be nice. It's, it's going to look nice anymore. You know? Yeah. Now you, now you need to wear it because people need to see what they are uh, competing for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we will then see how the sweat comes <laughs> <laughs> All right. from, from a... minute to minute. <laughs> it will be fun for everyone. Okay, My... great. Let us start right away before, it's, uh, before the, the, the participants get bored. Um, yeah, today we will cover uh, support things. Um, you know, we are Sync Spider, the universal e-commerce and web apps middleware. And today we will cover the topics why efficient support is so important and things you can automate to speed up your workflow. Um, I am personally working with Freshdesk and Fresh Service. I know this very good. Um, and uh, th those systems, this is why I have chosen them. And I've also chosen numbers from their statistics. 
Um, but it, it, you can replace those logos with any other great help desk. There's so cool help desk outside um, that you can use, and some of them have been on uh, on, uh, on on LTDs, oh, yeah. and we are working on integrations with them as well. So just um, use our feedback software. Uh, thinkspider.feedbeer.com to add uh, systems that you might miss or that you want to have, uh, vote them up. And uh, yeah, but for this example and for this uh, webinar today, I've chosen to go with Fresh Desk and Fresh Service. We might see another tool as well because we will do some workflow later on. Um, but um, yeah, for this, now let's talk All about right. a bit why efficient support is so important. So um, engaging customers in the modern retail landscape, I have some numbers for you. 87% uh, of all customer think brands need to improve their multi-channel experience in 2018. So the statistics are from, uh, from the last year and was created um, uh, this year. 86% of customers will pay more for better customer service. So this is a very important uh, information to go. You know, customer service, when, when you ever wanted something from let's say the big players like amazon uh you always get it so you always have right and they are fast um i i also have a, what, what i personally like uh, in support we have a few things that we do so it's just some smaller sites we have at site ground for instance um and when you need their support uh, they, they are available in, in, in a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Of course, it's, it's um, not, not even uh, three to four minutes even. So, uh, but, but in chat, this is, this is insane that they are there. Um, for a small team like ours, for instance, it's, um, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard that we cover 24 seven. Um, uh, so we currently try to at least cover 24 six. But the real good resources, like uh, people that really know the software, are mostly online during our working hours. So for us, it's hard. We know that um, that the bigger we get, the more customer power, uh, the more uh, support power we can give. But this is something that is really important. What helps us a lot is that we can automate things. So our support really can take care um, about giving support instead of doing them things like uh, copy pasting data because we get all the data automated into our software and all our systems are synchronized. So all our systems have the same data. We know uh, with whom we are talking to, uh, we know what they are doing in our software uh, and we can have all accurate data. And this is important because we save some time to be more to really on the customer. Um, 86 uh, uh, yeah, yeah. 86% of the retailers have made delivering personalized experience their priority. So um, a personalized support to have all the information of the customer at one place at that time when the support is in touch with the customer is something that is really um, powerful because customers really love it if you can get personalized with them and you can uh, you know so many things in advance already um, and 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 this helps a lot because it is more it feels more a bit like a friendship yes and being friend with someone is uh, is easier than uh, and, and easier talking and more understanding because support mostly is needed if there is a problem, if you have something to resolve. And it's easier to discuss this with a friend in a friendly environment um, than if you are not good with it, each other or if you are too too far away. Uh, so this really, this really helps. Yeah, I completely agree with personalization. Uh, we started implementing this uh, in PitchGround just recently a few weeks ago. Uh, we started using this app called Bonjoro, which allows us to send a personalized thank you video to our customers. And it's, it's amazing. Like if you add this, this personal non-automated touch that you really like say, Hey Norbert, thanks a lot for your purchase. It makes a huge difference. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is something that I've seen already in the requests and that we also want to start. Um, uh, it's not Bonjour, it's DAP because DAP yeah. can also do the same thing. And uh, as far as I remember, I've seen a lot of requests already for DAP. 
Uh, we will definitely implement DAP as well. Uh, we tried already to implement them, but we did not find any official API so far. So I reached out to them. Uh, I know that they have, as far as I know, a Zapier integration, uh, but we will try to get DAP as well into our system and we will need it ourselves because we also want to send those um, personalized videos. Um, Alex doesn't know anything about it that he needs to be the one who sends that videos, but hey, we have well, a I'm webinar to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be happy to do so. Yeah, why don't you wear your jacket? It, um, it's just, uh, you know, the reflection will kill you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too warm? Yeah. <laughs> so from the Salesforce connected shopper reports, uh, they found out that shoppers don't feel that retailers don't know who they are. So they, they already believe that they, that they know who they are. Um, and um, yeah, and we should give them this experience, of course. So we should be very personalized. Of in course. The yeah. So, and now what's happening after a poor customer support experience is 52% will tell family and friends about the experience. Imagine yourself what you are doing. Imagine if you had a bad customer support, you will tell at least your man, your wife, whatever, your children, uh, someone of the family, you will tell them, what well, today I had such a sucking support. 52% mm. of people will do that. And this is bad reputation for your company. And also 40% will case doing business with the company they will try to move away from you because they had bad support so we all even we at sync spider we should aim for give an excellent support give fast support give fast replies it's really hard it's really something to be very honest with you it's really really hard for a small company, for a young company to have enough resources to give outstanding support. But this is something that is really um, a huge um, situation changer for yes. a company. If you can give good support, people are willing, and we learned that before, are willing to pay more for the service, which means that you don't need to compete so much. And this is something, um, Maybe even a small company, uh, if, if, if we have at least enough resources, can achieve that we maybe even can be faster than the very big ones. So I, 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 I sometimes needed support from, uh, from, from tools where I often needed to wait for one or two days for a reply. And this is, um, this is something that, that, that I don't want. So, um, mm -hmm. I, I, but when you need to wait so long, you have forgotten already what you wanted to do or wanted to resolve, and you maybe did it with another tool. So, um, short I would times. be interesting. I would be interested to see from the, from from our crowd what was there. How do they feel when they get a poor customer support, or what what are what is the worst example? What or what? How do you want to be treated? That would be cool to know to hear. Yeah, guys, uh, it's it's actually good 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 question. Thanks, Alex. Like if you and if don't you... and don't complain about our support. Okay, don't want to hear anything. Take <laughs> if, take if some, support if of other tools. Bad customer yeah. experience. Uh, like that. Maybe company didn't treat you well. You uh, maybe haven't received uh, answer to your uh, to your question. Just let us know in the comments. Uh, because at the same time, by commenting, you are uh, you are entering the competition uh, to win the awesome jacket. Alex, just yeah. uh, just, just stop swearing. Yeah. <laughs> this great jacket here, not this one. It's mine. So <laughs> you get a fresh one, of course. All right. Okay. Are there any questions so far? Should we jump into some questions? So so, we... so far, no. I don't see any questions uh, okay. going on. So. Okay. But so, there will be. What helps you um, to to lower the the the, the support um, or the to, to lower the, the work of the support agents is to automate daily tasks. So what you can do is to work with third party integrations like Sync like Sync Spider to bring customer data from your backend, your software, your local machine, um, your your other tools, your CRM. Uh, with custom applications and other third-party applications ranging from 
order management, payment solutions to deliver personal or contextual support um, by just integrating uh, with those tools. So sending the data that you need on a daily basis to your help desk. And there are several things that you could sync or automate. First of all, you can send customer data. So from the CRM, from the web shop, from Active Directory, uh, even from your local machine, as we discussed last time, you can send the data directly to the help desk and have them there. You can create even individual forms. So sometimes or mostly um, the help desk software comes with one form. This form might be customizable, but you might need different kind of forms um, for different use cases. And in that case, you could create your very own forms and send the tickets via API, so via Sync Spider to the help desk. Uh, which is also quite cool because you then can really um, uh, uh, include already things uh, that you might need or that you might have in your software where you host those forms. Uh, by the way, we are currently working on a very cool integration. Um, uh, Vladimir started with it uh, already. It will be at the, an HTML form grabber. So. Um, you will be able to insert a JavaScript snippet like analytics or whatever, or Google Tag Manager mm -hmm. into your website where you see a form, where you have an HTML5 form. And uh, when you inserted that snippet, we will identify the form fields and we will present those fields in our mapping screen. So you can then just let people fill out the form and we grab directly from that form and send the data via Sync Spider to wherever you need it. So That's this amazing. will be huge. It will be great. Um, and it's already started. Um, it's also a use case that we had uh, exactly for exactly for that, by the way. So exactly for bringing um, for bringing those um, those form data mm -hmm. to a help desk. It's exactly for that use case. Uh, but we said this would be a great integration for, in general, it's just called HTML form uh, integration, and it will be really cool. You can send tickets to Google Sheets for reporting, for instance. A lot of help desks, or especially fresh desks, they have a huge reporting and everything is cool, but sometimes you might want to filter something in Excel or in, in Google Sheets, something specific or a specific kind of tickets. Uh, then you could send the tickets there and use the filtering in the sheets. Or the For example, that, yeah. I just wanted to jump in quickly why, why this, could be, this could be useful as well, or how we try to to do something similar. So if you have a lot of tickets, a lot of conversations, if and if you then send them all to a report, uh, it's not a report just to show off to somebody, but you can find uh, weak spots if you organize and, and have or have them checked. You, you can see the patterns of repeating or what is not good, what is bad, what you, sh you should change in your app or how you could need to improve your app. So this is, uh, when you look at it, tickets to Google Sheets, like uh, why, why would I need to report something? But actually, it's a it's a really good background if you mm -hmm. if you know how to think of it and how to use it. Absolutely. All right, we we have a first couple of questions. Um, sure. From so one is from Josef, and he's asking, have you ever done? Uh, have you ever do? Have you ever do have any uh, in quotes indirect integrations such as using screenscaping to read uh, forward slash write data? Uh, can you repeat it? I did not really get what what it's meant. Have you ever do any indirect integrations uh, such as using screen scraping to read or write data? Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a very interesting uh, case uh, because um, it's one of the used cases I prepared for another webinar. Mm -hmm. um, uh, ma mainly, uh, so you scrape data from a, from a website like email address, name, and what what else? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, so. You could send this data. There are a lot of tools that are already writing the data to Google Sheets. There are a lot of tools. I think most of them work with Google Sheets, Sheets already. 
-hmm. What you can do then is to set the Google Sheet when you get the data in the Google Sheet, when you set it to um, 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 SyncSpider source, and then you put your CRM or your newsletter software or your mailing software like Lamlist mm -hmm. or um, Mailshake or whatever they are named, um, when you set it then as target. So you get the scraped data to the Google Sheets and via SyncSpider it's sent further to Lamlist or any other cool tool. And, uh, and then you have your email sequence directly started based on that. Um, so this is an indirect way. Um, yes, we also thought about, when we discussed those individual forms, um, we also thought about, we might maybe build some kind of website scraper because we also could need this for e-commerce. Yes. Um, getting products uh, from, from, from other systems and doing also pricing comparison and so such kind of things. But this is more or less something that we, really need to deeply analyze how to can how this can be built and it's what something for the longer roadmap but it's, mm. but we are very interested in in something like that uh, but for now the, the first goal that we have is to have as much as possible integrations and All right. if, if anybody has a, like a 30 hour estimate on how to solve that call us yeah, <laughs> Joseph. I, I hope that we, I hope that we, uh, that Norbert asked, answered your question. Uh, anyway, if you have any suggestions how to solve it, just reach out to Alex or Norbert, and uh, you can talk about it. Anyway, another question from Yusuf, and he's asking, can you integrate with social media? If yes, how long? <laughs> That's good. So we get leads from Facebook leads and this is it. So um, I am not sure if we get an approval to post data, uh, post anything on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, to be very honest, because the way to get an approved app is insane. And we want to focus on quick and fast integrations for you users and don't waste the time on social media. You, there are so many good tools already out out there uh, where you can schedule postings and so on uh, what we might do is some kind of um, group integration so that that we get the data from groups um, when when someone signs up uh, that it directly pulls the data into your CRM or whatever where you need it but nothing to post nothing to um, to really, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah it, to, to compete with those great social media tools. This is not our goal. Bef before we move on, uh, thanks for answering. We have two nice comments uh, from Zahid. Awesome on the live stream now, now uh, looks very promising. Thanks a lot, Z Zahid. And uh, nice comment from David Ferguson, Fer Ferguson uh, who is commenting, looks great, commenting and like the page. Hashtag gimme jacket. So, <laughs> so what does it mean, guys? Norbert, please, if you could show the jacket again. Yeah, sure. So you, you can for everybody. This is by the jacket. All right, do your yeah, intro. So. <laughs> Here is the Think by the jacket, and we are about to give it away today. Not this one. Uh, it's mine, but you will get your own one. <laughs> uh, we have them in L and XL uh, size. And it's a very cool soft shell jacket um, in <laughs> white color with blue printing. Yeah, so I see our page I should, I should, I should, uh, I should become a promoter. <laughs> so yeah, I can totally see that your your DJing skills from the past right now. By the way, guys, if you don't know it, like Norbert was a DJ. Uh, he was playing in, on the festivals is, and so on. So if you have questions about integrations or about how to mix music, he's the right guy to reach out to. This is, <laughs> this is over 10 years. <laughs> uh, All right. Actually, it's over 10 years old, okay? Yeah, but yes, yes, that's true. Um, I was not good, so don't, <laughs> don't hire me. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, if you want to move, uh, if you want to win this soft shell jacket, just comment and uh, comment under this video and like the things by the page. You will find all the, all the ins instructions in the description of this chat. Yeah. So Norbert, let's move on. Yeah, uh, and if we should wear uh, uh, Spider-Man shirts next week in the webinars, <laughs> just tell us in the comments that we all will wear Spider-Man shirts. So 
Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that would be fun, actually. <laughs> Or the data to customer notes, so uh, uh, sending notes or the data, things that people purchased in a, in a, in a web store. Um, the data is important to have it mapped or merged to, um, to, to, to the support system so that the, the agents know about the customer without logging in and searching for that customer in order. So you can also send that data to the system. And of course, <laughs> very important for your pockets, if you have a paid, um, customer support, then it's tickets to billing department. So grabbing the tickets that maybe are marked as billable, um, most systems allow you to at least either have a, is billable or not billable. So this could be filtered, but you can also use custom fields for that. So when you um, um, maybe write in the time you needed for a ticket or uh, the price for that ticket, it could be sent directly to the billing department. So also something that you can save time um, and focus again on the customer support. And chat to help desk is another use case. So there are great chat tools, also the combination chat and support. Uh, but in some use cases, you might use a different support system than the chat system that you're, that you're using. And so um, when, when, I, when we're talking about GIST or, uh, or, or get, uh, get GIST or Customerly, mm -hmm. they, they have already great uh, technology, good support uh, system, sometimes even to less. So when, when I compare it to Freshdesk um, or Fresh Service, so they have all integrated. The, but let's say the, the, the Fresh Chat, for instance, is maybe not yet there in, in, in the SaaS world like you have um, in, in, in GIST or in Intercom. So you might have different systems. We actually used to have different systems. So we're just trying to, to get everything into one and lose at least some features. But the feature set of Freshdesk is insane. So when it comes to support um, and, and and then you could need another system and send the chat information right away to the help desk if there is something that needs, let's say, third-party support. So to save some time and have everything covered. And, and a use case that we really had, actually, um, with a very, very big Austrian um, uh, company. Um, they have, so they, they are so big, they have um, a, a support system um, to their clients, which okay. is uh, Freshdesk. So this is the support system that they use for their clients. But they also have an internal system for the IT, which is Fresh Service, because Fresh Service is focusing, it's from the same company, it's from Freshworks. And they are focusing on IT support. So all the assets of an employee are stored within the software. And when an employee raises a ticket, they know exactly which computer they have, which infrastructure they have, which updates they had, which software is on the computer. So it's IT support for internal company usage. And this is why they need two different help desks because IT has other use cases than the end customer. But it sometimes happens that the end customer has a problem that needs to be resolved by the fresh service guys, or the fresh service guys have a problem that needs to be supported by the fresh test guys or by the other type of agents. And so we use SyncSpot in this case to transfer those tickets that have a specific status within uh, a free field. They can activate a free field. And then SyncSpot knows, okay, this ticket now needs to be in the other system. In the name of the agent of the system A, um, and it gets a regular flow. We are doing the exchange of this specific ticket until it's resolved. So ticket to ticket is might not be often, but it can be a use case. Yes. Yeah. All right, Norbert, we have uh, two more questions, again from sure. Josef, and he's asking, once an integration is set up, are they performed real time once triggered, or do these get queued? If so, how long are normal wait times? Uh, we queue them, yes, but uh, it's nearly real time. So it's just the, the queue that we um, don't get those events, um, uh, let's say, in a thousand events the same second. This would not be good. 
Um, so we queue them and uh, and run them one by one, but it's very, very short. We are in the Google Cloud, so we are very scalable and the system scales up as soon as we um, face uh, more impact. And, uh, and so um, I would say it's nearly real time. It's not mm -hmm. M and it's there, but it's nearly real time. It's really pretty fast and it depends on the system so if it comes to a system that has uh, that e it supports events so where we don't need to pull data where we can have a webhook to see when data has updated um, then um, uh, th then then we support of course the events otherwise we need to make a scheduler um, so that that you um, do a, like a cron job you schedule uh, the pull all right, thanks a lot. I hope that we answered your, uh, your question, Josef. And uh, another question from Zahid. Could this integrate with GrooveCard Ecom solution? Um, you can add it to our uh, feature board. So um, it's uh, thingspider.feedbeer.com and let people upvote. The more votes it gets, the sooner we will implement it, but everything that is there should be implemented pretty soon. All right, and last question. Uh, by the way, I will post the link under this video so you can click it and, uh, and suggest this, this integration. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the question I see last is from Ervin. What are the tiered plans uh, that will be available? Uh, we cannot announce this yet, so you will need to stick around till October 14th. <laughs> Norbert, I, I, I'm afraid that you, okay. I'm, I'm back again, just one interruption. All right, okay. perfect. So, uh, so, so guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to still keep them coming in, in the comment section and uh, uh, we will be answering them. <laughs> cool. So um, what we now can do as, because I think you would like to see things by in action a bit. Of um, course. Yeah, I did not prepare anything, so it's the <laughs> first time that I am using GIST with Freshdesk. So it's mm -hmm. premiere for me as well. Um, so I will create a new task and uh, I would like to choose from uh, a not yet integrated system. In this case, I will use GIST and I will give it a name. This is my GIST Syncs Spider account next and I need the GIST API key let me check if I um, I find it already because I I opened GIST and checked where the API key is it's here covered it to the clipboard and I need to finish so here we are mm -hmm. uh, that's it I'm integrated it's already here so let me pick that integration and let me see what I can get. I can get users, leads, and events. Okay. I want to have I want to have leads. Let me see. I want to have leads. Click on next. Now what I want to do is I want to send them to my fresh desk. So let me pick fresh desk. Give it a name, fresh desk doc, because this is the channel from here. Uh, then I need the the help desk name yeah so this is one what i need so i pick the url here and i need also an api key i know at least where they are somewhere here by the way guys uh sync spider is also available in english so you will understand <laughs> understand everything <laughs> that what you see here is is uh, because the help desk itself is a german yes. language yeah? <laughs> uh sync spider is entirely in english so we don't even have a german translation <laughs> okay yeah not yet we want to do this once but it's not important for us because all the, the people that use it mostly uh uh know english quite good so mm -hmm. Okay, so fresh desk is also here. Nice. Uh, let me pick it and let us create a contact. So I assume I get a new lead in, um, in GIST and I want to have that lead sent as contact to fresh desk. So I can now configure and choose what's the unique identifier. Uh, in this case, I can either have the ID or email. Email is always preferred because you mostly don't know the ID in the target system. 
Um, and so it's matched by email, which is good. And here is what I can fill up from uh, from Freshdesk. And interesting thing is that we also cover all custom fields here. And I have two custom fields here. Uh, and we even understand what type of field. So it's an option field. This word means billable or not, you know? Um, and it's an options field. So it has yes or no, probably. Don't know yes. Mm -hmm. And on this fields, this is all we get from GIST. So I see all the fields that we get and we have an email. Here we go. And we have a name. Here we go. So, and um, we could also add a company name. Let's uh, see if we have company here. No, we don't. So it doesn't matter. Um, I even can define if, uh, da, da, da. let me see, description, address, unique identifier. No. Okay. Um, I even could send the Facebook ID. That's interesting. So if we have it here somewhere, you can map it. So all you need to do is really map those fields by a drag and drop. The phone is already here as well. So it's just drag and drop. Um, and then we go to the next screen where we can see uh, and automate the things. So um, let me enable the task here. Uh, it's an event-based system, so we don't have a scheduler here. So um, normally we can choose either event or scheduler, but in, for, for GIST, it, we have an event-based, so it's sent automatically. That's fine, and I can define who should be notified on success. Uh, I don't need to select anyone. Or so so these people here, Norbert and uh, other two guys, uh, they're basically uh, team members who you set up in SigSpider? Yes, uh, these are team members, all that are here in your account, invited on the team. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can pick it. So you can just, you, you don't can put in any email address. So you just, you need to have a team member because in every email there is a link. Uh, which leads directly to the uh, to the log. So uh, mm -hmm. I would just recommend for the first few tasks, if you want to know if it has been successed, then you put in um, yourself, get an email, and when you are happy, just put it away. And here I would always recommend for on errors, if it fails, to have at least one informed um, about error or not. So um, that's it. So my task is ready. So uh, it's named still new task because I didn't give you the name. So let me change that as well. You can edit in the dashboard right away. Say uh, this is GIST leads to fresh desk. Um, and here I want to have a description uh, as well. Um, send the leads that are grabbed from the homepage to fresh desk so agents know that they have been already on our site okay and then um it's as i said it's triggered automatically so as soon as um there are people and leads inside they are sent to the help desk and if you want to run it once you can also click the play button and we are hooking into the systems and grabbing the data now um, to send it over to the fresh desk. Some of you people might get an email. So three items, three people have an email and some of mm -hmm. them of you might now get an email from fresh desk Duck support to activate your account there. Uh, please ignore it. It's just a demo setup, and we will delete it. <laughs> Uh, the data <laughs> right away, so we, I will delete it after after the meeting. Uh, it's gone again. Okay, so and this is it. So we 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 actually we there were required fields that are missed. So we didn't know the email address in this case, uh, but we exported three items. It was that fast, and and now every new lead would be sent automatically to um, to the desk. So and there are many use cases. So it's the same way for every flow. Um, either to get tickets to a Google Sheet or to get even a Google Sheet to tickets or forms to tickets, orders as tickets or as contact extensions, uh, where you just send notes and send the order details. This is, this is always the same workflow. And I hope you like it. It's amazing. I mean, it's quite simple to set, yeah. set everything up. And 
We have a question actually regarding to, to this, which is from Akim and he's asking, will there be multi-step tasks? Oh, actually there are multi-step tasks, but not yet live. Um, this is, this had a bug, so we needed to uh, fix it. Um, so uh, you will face when, it will be released next week before the launch. That, um, you will For notice. people who are not familiar what multi-step tasks are, uh, can, you, can you describe? Yes, it's just to have more steps. So uh, you will have a plus button here, and then you can not just add one tool as target, you can add several tools as target. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I can and create what, this like huge integration chain with multiple yeah, tools. Yeah, and what you can do as well uh, in the future, this is really, it's on a very short road, roadmap because we need it ourselves. Um, you can run, you will be able soon to run um, a specific task after this task, after task A run, you can uh, trigger another task to start. So you can really make flows with different systems as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, question from Dennis. And I think people pay attention now because this is something a lot of people ask. And the question from Dennis is, what is the difference between SyncSpider and Zapier? Do you have a comparison card? <laughs> chart. No, no, we don't have Sync Spider is bigger. Uh, 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 Sapir is bigger, so that's it. Um, uh, now, the, the thing is, um, yeah, we, we might create a comparison chart. Sure, it's something we can do, definitely. Um, Sapir is uh, an insane great tool. They, they are number one when it comes to, to do the, the synchronizing things. We are... Um, more flexible, of course. We also have an API, so you can integrate your tool. It's quite easy. Um, we try to get tools covered quickly um, ourselves, but also like the community to do that. But where we are really powerful uh, and most powerful is the number of fields that are available. We always try to integrate best to really get uh, also custom fields where I often don't see them in, in, in Zapier or at least e-commerce creating configurable products, exporting, importing orders, exporting, importing customer data. So especially in e-commerce, we are much better. Um, this, is, this is for sure. Um, and also we have a Windows application where you can synchronize local data. And we really try to make it a bit more extended mm -hmm. um, we might never get so many tools i don't know if we will achieve those 1400 apps or even more like sapir does but uh we we will for sure have tons of apps and especially apps that you are using so this is why we really want you to vote on the apps give us feedback it's so important for us to find out which apps that you actually need most and we will really implement them and make it a successful launch for you so that you have what you need um, in your daily business. Can you please uh, say once again, what's the exact URL where, where people can, um, can share or maybe show it? Yeah, sure, sure. It's syncspider.feedbeer.com. So syncspider.feedbeer.com feed the beer and you see here that um, people are already voting. You see Thrivecard, 26 votes already, insane. That's really great. Um, and you just submit a feedback here and then you pick integration requests. Uh, or if you have any other ideas, feedback ideas like flows, um, what, what we heard today already to, to have a scraping flows or whatever, put it on the feedback ideas. We will go through all your feedback. We will merge things. Oh, great. We have even the request for a Zapier integration. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will do that. We will do a Zapier integration. Why not? They are, they are really, this, this is fun. This is fun. So, um, <laughs> And, and we will we will merge them. Um, just type in what you request. So let's say you want to have a, a Learn Dash integration, um, then just wait a bit and you see if it's already there. 
And if it's already there, then just click the up button to vote on it. Uh, if you're not signed up so far, you will be asked to sign up yes. and you will get an information when we put it on the uh, dev development and you will get a notification when it's released. So just use that um, and you will be always up to date what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, we have more questions. Uh, guys, keep it coming. Just keep asking questions in the comments and we'll keep answering them. So Zahid is asking, if I set up a free account, uh, can that then be upgraded to pitch ground deal when it arrives? Sure. Yeah, of course. Sure. You can the re you can redeem the code, um, and during the trial you can do everything. So we don't we don't uh, restrict users. If you find the deal um, and you are already a customer of Sing Spider, then you also can um, can upgrade. So why why should we limit someone for anything? It's all right, Zahid. So unfair. yes, it is uh, it is possible. Okay, another question from Ervin. Uh, will conditional logic be available with multi-step? Yeah, um, it's something. Well, it's it's as I said, it's on the roadmap. It's nothing we have yet. It's a bit complicated, but yes, definitely. So it will be conditional logic as well. We need it for a lot of things, even in e-commerce, uh, to have conditional logic. For example, shipping. So we have um, we have uh, customers that need to be able to export um the orders and send it to the right shipping center depending on the related goods and related uh, physical address of the delivery so conditional logic is something that is very important for our e-commerce branch and if it's implemented for the e-commerces uh it's also implemented for tools because it's um in the core system yes okay so another question from joseph uh joseph thanks again for being active it's amazing and uh, he's he wants asking, to have a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's asking if there is a failure anywhere in the integration chain during runtime, does things by the try to retry? Uh, no. If so, how many times before giving up? No, we uh, we don't currently retry. Uh, it will be automatically retried in the next synchronization process, of course. But it's not that um, it tries that specific data set. Um, it is something that might be interesting for implementation. We did not have the request so far um, because our customers mostly sending data sets and if a data set or if a error is included, um, it's, it's, it's in the next run. So it was no bad issue, but um, I agree that it's very interesting and uh, it should be on the roadmap to be implemented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jonathan just joined. It's finally, it's finally coming. He commented. Yeah, it's finally yeah, coming. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, now another question from Kiran. Uh, can since by the trigger actions in teachable and get response. Uh, get response is a newsletter tool as far as I know, right? Get response is uh, email automation tools similar like yeah. MailChimp. Yeah. Um, if they support it in the API, it's not yet implemented, but um, if it's supported in the API uh, to, that we can trigger an action, uh, it's something we can implement, yeah, that, or, or that will be automatically integration. So we will do, uh, typically for newsletter tools or even marketing automation tools, we will uh, implement events if they are available, like we did for, for, for uh, just here. Um, and, and implemented also the events. Um, and and uh, so if we can trigger something there, if there is an action hook on, on, the, on the user's level, then it should be there as well. All right. Um, Let we me have... see how many votes. Get response. Get response, yeah. It's, it's here a one has word. already four votes. You get a vote from me as well. What is that? No, I can't. That's... I have a word. Yeah, now you have a vote from me as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, more questions are coming. If uh, this integration fails, uh, do users receive some sort of uh, notification on email? Exactly. This is the last step that I showed um, during the walkthrough. Uh, when you set up the the uh, activation, you can choose who who needs to be informed um, via email. In a case of a failure. Yeah. 
So we have success email and uh, failure email. And all you need to do is to choose one of your team members that you set up to your account who should get the information for success and information for failures. It's optional. You don't need to fill it up. I recommend always to use just the fails. And for success, uh, just use it at the beginning so you see that everything is good. You have a good mm -hmm. feeling. You remove yourself. You get too simply too much emails. Mm -hmm. uh, question from Raul. I think that you will love this one because it's e-commerce uh, e related. And he's asking, I want to create two Shopify stores, one in Spanish and one in English. Could SyncSpider synchronize stock of both stores? Sure, definitely. I think we ha I even have a customer that is, is, is doing exactly that for German and, sh and, and, and uh, yeah, it, we, ha we have one customer that is actually doing exactly that mm. for the US store and the German store. Not only that, but uh, what is interesting in shops, uh, Norbert, uh, moving from another, one system to another is also yeah, yeah, something yeah. very sought for and where we can help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, more questions, guys. Keep asking. We'll keep answering it. Uh, question from Dennis. Do you offer how-to videos that, are shown, uh, that will show me how to set up all the features from SingSpider? I'm going to record personally one for you when you <laughs> yeah. buy in and you're going to get a video. But of course, we are working on our knowledge base. It's going to be video based. Right now, we have mostly text based help. But as Norbert said, we try to do support the best we can because uh, uh, we are also users as you are of the problem of the of various apps and know how, how important is that. Yeah, the mm -hmm. thing is really, I, I think this is a good point to mention. Um, we sit in the same boat like you because yeah. um, we do not just develop Sync Spider. We need Sync Spider on our daily work in the agency as well. I these are really my real customers that that are in our agency uh, and that are supported by my employees. Um, projects of them. It's not the number of user accounts. It's really just from the agency ac uh, account. The, the, the customers that have a web shop or tools that are set up by the agency, supported by the agency. So we really know exactly the use cases that are there and we need ourselves to work with Sync Spider. We ourselves use it on a daily basis. We are not just a tool provider. We use our tool mm -hmm. ourselves for real projects. And so we are learning everything what needs to be done, what could be done better. And we get the requests directly from the customers that are really using it, not just setting it up. Okay. Question from Johnson. Uh, he's asking, will all apps launched on PitchGround so far, uh, launched on PitchGround so far, be part of your integrations? Every single app that is in our tool will be in the launch. Uh, I think Jonathan is asking like, PitchGround la launched multiple apps so far, and if the apps we launched will be in the integrations uh, available. Uh, that depends yes. on your votes. <laughs> yeah. So we have, of course, priority is, of course, that we get those lifetime deal apps um, uh, integrated, but please add them to the list um, and vote them up if you really want them. Um, maybe there are apps where there are no use cases for a synchronization. Um, show it to us when you don't vote them up and you don't see a use case, then we will implement it a bit later. But of course, our focus is now at the moment to integrate with lifetime deal apps. So we also implemented uh, apps from other groups like Moosend, mm -hmm. uh, which is an app that was hosted on lifetime tech deals or something. Um, and it's implemented already and we try to get those lifetime deals because I know that you are buyers of those deals and you want to see them. All right. Uh, a few more questions. Um, Justin is asking, can someone combine the Thrive card and the Thrive card integration requests? Would it would make it the number uh, one request? I'm not really sure if you understand what, what does it mean? Yes, I, I also think that uh, that that uh, Thrive card is actually 
thrive card definitely is planned already so um and i will merge it even with the other thrive card no it's thrive theme so uh thrive card um is is on the other list as well uh, it's definitely already planned so it's the, it has the next status already so our team already is analyzing how to integrate and it will be there in a few a few weeks so it I think it's not the big deal with ThriveCut in implementation, but its status is already planned. All right. Uh, and question from Yusuf. Can you put a logic syndication in brackets? If we put few words, then the tool don't syndicate those products. Um, maybe I did not really get it. I think he's, he's referring to, uh, to some e-commerce store. Uh, but the question is, I will send it on Zoom to you uh, directly. Uh, can you put logic syndication? If we put few words, then the tool don't syndicate those products. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is the filter. It's in all in every e-commerce uh, already. So you will see all the fields uh, that we get, all the attributes, and you can use one attribute to uh, filter it out directly. We have that, for instance, for uh, marketplace listing. My customers. Uh, created a free attribute in their e-commerce store, mostly Magento, WooCommerce, uh, a meta field where they just write in, let's say, Amazon, uh, and we filter then if the product has Amazon in uh, this attribute, we will list it on Amazon. If there is nothing inside, we don't list it. So it's fully flexible with filters. All right. So far, yeah, next question from Yarek. Uh, he's asking on Zoom. I sneaked in and had a pleasure to test some integration. Uh, I have noticed some of the integrations are having uh, triggers and action. Big marker, for example. My question is, are you planning to expand actions to already implemented integrations? Yes. What we currently do is that we uh, implement the basics. So we will implement the basic um, functionality and based on the requests that we get we will extend all the integrations it really depends a bit on the requests on your usage what you need to do and we will in, uh, extend them step by step for now and is it it's is very important for us to get a lot of integrations done um, quickly so that you have most for from the tool and and then we will definitely make them perfect we did it, this in e-commerce as well we started with products then we, we, we did the orders, then we extended the products with configurable products, then we extended with customers, with categories, with filters. So we are doing the first step so that it's there, that can be used, and then we listen to our users and extend it. All right. I don't see any other questions. Guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, and before we will like our, like our Facebook page, facebook.com oh, yes. thing spider. And you are lucky, maybe you can win one of those great. Let, let's let's stop sharing jackets. because your image is yeah. really small now and people need to see this jacket on a huge uh huge Yeah, sure, thing. sure. One moment. I <laughs> stop it. So okay, let me just yeah. This is the Sing Spider jacket that you can win. Uh, and uh, just need to like our Facebook page. It's a beautiful soft gel jacket. Uh, fb.com slash singspider and comment under that post here, under that video, and uh, we will draw a winner tomorrow. Um, yeah, and hopefully it will be you. So if you want this amazing piece of clothing, all you have to do yeah. is just comment under the live video. It can be, um, it can be a watch party here uh, on Facebook or on our Facebook page, the original live video, and uh, we'll pick a winner. And of course, we are checking out people who are commenting in, uh, in Zoom as well. So don't worry, guys. Uh, if you're commenting, we are, uh, we, are get, we are seeing it as well. But don't forget to like the page too. Uh, so let me quickly share my screen because this is not the last webinar uh, we are doing together. So today we covered how to automate tedious customer support tasks using integrations and a lot of questions as usual. And uh, next week on October 7th, the same time, uh, we will talk about how to put your e-commerce business on autopilot. And I saw a lot of questions today about e-commerce, Shopify and so on. 
Uh, so guys, you really need to join on this one and prepare as much specific questions as you can uh, because this is the right time to ask. And take the your time. Take your time, people. E-commerce will be huge, so it will take longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit longer because maybe you don't know it, Ale, but but, uh, but um, it was original uh, positioning of SingSpider uh, e-commerce, and then after after we uh, started talking to you, Pitch Grounders, uh, we actually uh, decided uh, the guys actually decided that they will do more web apps as well. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then for all the Facebook marketers, uh, October 8th, get the most of your Facebook lead generation ads with integrations. And then this day will be extremely fun because we'll be on a commerce conference in Vienna uh, and we'll, we'll be doing it live. So it won't be a Zoom. Uh, we'll go live directly from the conference, from the, from the booth. Uh, it's going to be fun. So guys, what, are, what will you be doing there? Like, what is the occasion? Why are you going there? Uh, e-commerce is the leading um, a conference for e-commerce in Austria, and we are nominated for the best e-commerce tool 2019. Oh. Uh, so we, we don't know it yet. We just got informed that we are under the top five already and that we need to come. So um, we need to go there. Uh, we also uh, wanted to have or uh, book the booth there, so uh, we will have an exhibition, show our products um, to 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 e-commerce store owners. Uh, there will be a great party afterwards, so uh, don't expect any demo on the 15th. Alex is also here, <laughs> um, so we will we will have a day off, I think, on 15th. Um, no, it's 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 really great. So. Um, enjoy it there so be with us and and meet us at, at the live conference all right yeah i will definitely go there and now i'm considering that i will stay for part two <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh, you will get a sing spider jacket really all right yeah, then I'm you will get one yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then on October 14th, it's a deal launch day. So we will show you everything, how everything works and you'll be able to purchase a lifetime deal of the Sync Spider, which is almost unheard of in lifetime deal space that uh, tools like uh, integration tool, tools are launching. It's, it's quite unusual. So stay tuned because October 14th will be, will be big. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And it's and perhaps, ready to start the countdown, right? <laughs> yeah, we should really start a countdown. Guys, stay tuned in the group because we'll be posting some some interesting tips and tricks uh what to do with uh what to do with Sync Spider. Uh so yeah. Perhaps also a call out for anybody living in Vienna or about can find us in Vienna on tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, if you are if you're from Austria or from Vienna specifically, uh, you can you can visit SyncSpider on a con commerce conference. Uh, I will be there too, so it will be awesome to catch up. Uh, anyway, about all your uh, all your questions, uh, which integrations? I mean, which tools are supported? Uh, you can suggest everything here in SyncSpider dot dot com. It's SyncSpider dot dot com, and then you can upvote and so on. So if you have any ideas and you don't see it here, make sure you will. Uh, you will submit it and uh, you will and, submit your tool. And in the done section, so in the done section, you see the uh, integrations that we already have implemented and that, that they are live already. So, mm -hmm. um, so, so how many integrations you said you can do per month or per week? Four to 10. That's per, per month? Yeah. Per month, yeah. Okay, okay. That's really cool. All right, I see another question. Uh, Yarek, I would like to suggest a webinar samples of custom uh, templates. Webinar samples. Of, I don't really need yeah. well, uh, What, what we does can, it mean, Norbert? Uh, our tool is able to, you are, you are a cheater. You are already logged in as a, as a tester. Although we, <laughs> yeah, although, we, although we hit the sign up process. No, that's cool. Thank you very much for that request. Yeah, we can do, um, we can do a webinar after the webinar series, if you don't mind, Jacob, we can make additional webinars during the deal uh, where we go into specific trainings, like how to create a template, how to create, how to use the customer. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If you don't, if you want it, we can, we can do that. So just give us some input, what you want to see. We collect it and we can do some Q and A sessions and uh, I guide, 
I guide people through the software with specifics. Maybe, maybe you could, you could maybe add uh, another board here, like for, for this specific purpose for people who want to suggest like uh, what do they want to cover in the tutorials or in the webinars? Yeah. Absolutely, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Would you mind to create another board for tutorials? Yeah, we can do that. Definitely. Derek is saying Infusionsoft yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so guys, once again, thinkspider.feedbear.com if you want to suggest more integrations. Uh, or if you have any ideas uh, what uh, you want to cover us on the webinars. And if you want to uh, join on other webinars too, it's thinkspider.pageground.com. Uh, it will take you to this website where you will just simply fill in your email address here and we'll be sending you all the notification. Next webinar starts in two days and 24, uh, 22 hours. So guys, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Thank you very much, uh, Pitch Grounders. It was really amazing again. Uh, and I, I love those webinars and your questions are great and it will be huge. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you all. Pleasure being with, here with you today. It was amazing. All right. So I will see you next time, guys. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.